Today is August 23rd. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace through the power of the Holy Spirit. Take a moment and quiet yourself. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence and say, come Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 11. In the morning, David wrote a letter to Joab and sent it with Uriah. In it he wrote, Put Uriah out in front where the fighting is fiercest. Then withdraw from him so he will be struck down and die. When Uriah's wife heard that her husband was dead, she mourned for him. After the time of mourning was over, David had her brought to his house, and she became his wife and bore him a son. But the thing David had done displeased the Lord. The last line of this translation feels really understated to me. David had lusted after his friend's wife, so he sent his friend to the front lines, abandoned him on purpose, and left him to be killed. When I listen to this passage, I feel angry. Angry at David and angry at the way human beings can be so callous and hurtful. Angry at how even God followers have hearts that can be full of evil. Angry even at myself, because I know I have this same thread of sin in my own heart. Often when we come to prayer, we feel like we need to hide our anger or other negative emotions. But take time now to examine your heart. What feelings are you holding on to today? Our translation of this text said that the Lord was displeased. But the actual Hebrew word is much stronger. It means distressed by that which is dysfunctional or evil. It has connotations of that which is broken or crushed. What David did didn't just make God angry like it makes me angry. But David's actions had a crushing, a breaking impact because God is just. God is good. God saw what David did and saw that it was evil. Listen to the passage again with this more robust translation in mind. In the morning, David wrote a letter to Joab and sent it with Uriah. In it he wrote, 
Put Uriah out in front where the fighting is fiercest. Then withdraw from him so he will be struck down and die. When Uriah's wife heard that her husband was dead, she mourned for him. After the time of mourning was over, David had her brought to his house, and she became his wife and bore him a son. But the thing David had done displeased the Lord. It's easy to read about this horrible episode in the life of David and call it egregious sinfulness. But I wonder where it is that I have done something that displeases the Lord. I wonder what I have done or maybe what I am doing that has a crushing or breaking impact on God's heart. It's not an easy thing to consider. It's not something that I like to think about. But as we end our time of prayer, can you ask God for grace to show you if there's anything happening in your own life or heart or actions that's displeasing to him? Talk to God about these things. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Idols we put on your